you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very glad to have the opportunity to intervene in this absolutely prestigious annual conference. So let uh, me first of all thank the Institute of Cultural Diplomacy and uh, organizers for inviting me. As uh, Vice President of the Committee on Culture and Education of the European Parliament, I would like to briefly draw some of the most relevant points on the past and some suggestions on the future of cultural diplomacy in Europe. In 2007, the Commission's communication on a European agenda for culture in a globalizing world set out a set of objectives such as uh, a promotion of cultural diversity and the intercultural dialogue, promotion of culture as a catalyst of creativity and innovation in the framework of the Lisbon strategies, and the promotion of culture as an essential element of the EU's external relation, and identify new ways of working to take cultural cooperation within the EU to a new level. The Agenda for Culture strategic objectives led to the adoption of a work plan for culture 2011-2014, which set out the national and EU level activities to be carried out in the field of culture during the period 2011-2014. These activities focus on six priority areas culture, diversity, and the intercultural dialogue, culture and the gravity industries, skies and the mobility, culture heritage, culture in external relation, and culture statistics. I would like to point out that uh, under priority area, culture and external relations, you countries and the Commission will develop a strategic approach to culture in the external relation. They will also improve cooperation in this field, particularly through informal sharing. And also, they will continue to promote the ratification of the UNESCO Convention on the protection and promotion of the diversity of cultural expression by partner countries as well as to implement the Convention's objectives into relevant policy at national and EU level. When necessary, the Commission will also convene expert group to support the, the development of cultural relations with non-EU countries. The work plan for culture in 2011-2014, adopted in November 2010 by the Council, invite the presidencies of the Council to organize, when appropriate, joint informal <laughs> meeting between senior official of ministries of culture and the senior official responsible for culture in ministries of foreign affairs, with the, a view to developing a strategic approach to culture in external relations and uh, enhancing cooperation in this field. I think this is a very interesting example to link external relation and culture. The first of this meeting took place in June 2011 in PECS. It was organized by the Hungarian president in the framework of the work plan for culture 2011-2014. Other joint meetings took place under the Polish president in October 2011 and under the Danish presidents in June 2012. The most recent meeting took place in Vilnius on 16, 17 October 2013 under the Lithuan presidency and focused on the European neighbor policy. And I trust that uh, this will be a priority also for the Italian presidency. The European Parliament voted a resolution in 2011 
on the cultural dimension of the EU's external actions, which recommend developing EU's cultural diplomacy. In uh, its resolution, EAP stressed in particular the need for all EU institutions to recognize more fully the value of culture and calls for the development of a visible common EU strategy on the cultural aspect of the EU external relation. The creation of uh, culture attaché in EU delegation as promoters of European culture. The creation of a cultural visa for third country artists and professionals in the cultural field with the aim of eliminating obstacles to mobility in the culture sector. The importance of the new media in providing access to cultural goods and content and in making Europe, Europe's culture heritage and history better known inside and outside the EU as demonstrated by key projects such as Europeana. The role played by the cultural actors within civil society in the strengthening of democracy and human rights and calls on the Commission to promote the role more actively within the framework of the existing and the forthcoming external cooperation founding programs and action. A call on the European External Action Service to devote resources to culture and to engage in cultural, cultural diplomacy. Let me provide an example of a regional cultural diplomacy. Concerning the role of the European Union diplomacy, I'd like to draw your attention on two items in reverse chronological order. This confirms the important role played by the ICD, which has organized two international symposia or conference on cultural diplomacy in the EU. I refer to the symposium on sustainable economic growth, further integration and common identity, and the second, and the second on crisis, conflict, and culture, the rule of cultural diplomacy in uh, the European project. I'm uh, referring to this important event for a couple of reasons. Firstly, the public opinion attention is growing. Cultural diplomacy is considered more and more important because policy, language, and uh, cultural industry are a consequence of the difference between past and current conflicts. Cultural diplomacy acts namely on the cultural, religious, and active differences. On the other side, I focus on these issues because I strongly believe that uh, promotion European culture is one of the most important issues that culture diplomacy should face. The world is changing fast. Cultural flows keep uh, intensifying in our globalized world where economic hubs also become cultural crossroads. Emerging and re-emerging powers are designed worldwide culture policies. Europe's neighborhood is experiencing historical transformation. Europe should accept the challenge of adapting its culture and external policies to the new realities of soft power. Ladies and gentlemen, I come from a wonderful region stoned between land and sky. This is Veneto, in the north of Italy. We used to consider cultural diplomacy a relevant instrument to promote a broader artistic heritage. Not only. Cultural diplomacy is an instrument for informing on design, manufacture to adversary made in Italy, and experience of young artists. I have in my mind uh, the history of Andrea Palladio, who was a brilliant uh, artist in Veneto. Now, the White House in Washington is built as a Palladium Villa. This is a visible example. Those, activis those activities allowed to promote important events in the council field. 
achieving a relevant success by the public opinion, very keen on learn more on Veneto proposal on cultural tourism. I talk about my region because my opinion is that it will be very, very important to go beyond the traditional relationship between member states and Brussels. European people ask to be involved in democratic process, and one of the best instruments could be the cultural diplomacy for allowing a new way of communication between local authorities and the European Union. This could help local identities to emerge and to build a new model of Europe. I commit myself to take a strong message to European Parliament and to launch a debate in the Committee of Culture on the future of culture diplomacy. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to thank you for your very kind attention. Thank you.